Oh my god. Bruh! Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. You're in luck today. We have another satisfying detail to show you. This car is really bad, so we're gonna get right into it. So this Cadillac CTS4 has been severely neglected. We aren't sure if it's been washed at all within the last year as there is an extensive buildup of dirt and contaminants that has been etched into the top layer of the clear coat. We mentioned to the customer that the exterior needed a mechanical and chemical decontamination and a few stages of polishing, but she said she wasn't ready to splurge for a full exterior detail at this time, so we ended up settling on a quality hand wash and spray wax. As for the interior, ugh, this is one of the worst vehicles that we've ever seen. Dude, I could really go for a donut right now. You literally just told me you want abs this summer. So as you guys can see, the wheel wells were caked in mud. First thing we like to do is take our degreaser and clean the tires and rims, and then give everything a nice rinse. Now it's time to break out the foam cannon and spray on a thick layer of Chemical Guys Honeydew Snow Foam. You definitely want to use the two bucket method whenever washing the outside of the car. That way you can limit the amount of debris on your wash mitt, which in turn will prevent scratching the paint as much as possible. After using the mitts on the paint, we'll take a soft bristle brush and clean the area around the gas cap. The spray wax we use is called Easy Beads and it gives the paint a few weeks of gloss and shine as well as making the paint hydrophobic. You're welcome, RJ. If you guys are curious what products we're using in our videos, leave a comment down below and we'll start linking them in the description. A lot of times we take out the seats in cars just to make it a lot easier, but in this case, this car absolutely needed the seats removed. As you can see, there is a ton of dirt and debris and garbage underneath that we would not have been able to get to otherwise.
After we take all the garbage out of the car, we give it a thorough vacuum and honestly, I think the before and after of vacuuming can be more satisfying at times than the before and after of extracting. This little tool is called a lily brush. It's basically a piece of plastic with a rubber gasket around the outside and it makes it really easy to pull pet hair out of carpeting and put it all into one pile to be vacuumed. So normally we wouldn't do this because it just gets dirt and dust everywhere, but we really wanted to give you guys a good representation of how much was actually hidden in the carpet, and we didn't wipe any of the plastics down yet, so we figured why not. Also keep in mind what you're seeing, the only thing we sprayed into the carpet was compressed air. And speaking for Mike, RJ, and I, we have never ever seen this in any detail we've ever done. After the drill brushing and compressed air, we gave everything one more quick vacuum to get it ready for when we start extracting. Moving on to the door cards of the vehicle, you can definitely tell that they were in desperate need of a good scrubbing. Due to the level of soiling in the plastics, we used a stiffer bristle brush in order to really agitate the plastics and bring the dirt to the surface so we could wipe it away.
Here's Mike helping out with the seats. He's going to go ahead and start detailing the trim piece that holds the seat controls as well as the belt and then move on to the actual leather on the seats. For the leather, we use Lexol Leather Cleaner and scrub in tight circles in order to create a lather that brings all the crud to the top of the leather in order to be removed. The carpeting in this Cadillac was a lot higher quality, but in much worse condition than the vehicles in our last two videos, and we knew that this was going to be extra satisfying, so enjoy.
So normally we wouldn't use a pressure washer on carpeted floor mats, but these were so jacked up we figured it was necessary. After washing them, we used the extractor to suck out any extra water and let them dry by the heater in our storage facility. Windows are the bane of my existence, along with soccer mom minivans. I'd rather put a toothpick in between my toe and my toenail and kick the wall. On the plastics, we're using 303 Aerospace Protectant uh, to protect against UV damage and to give the plastics a nice shine that'll last for a significant amount of time. Wow, okay guys, that car was trashed. Uh, that was probably one of the worst ones that I've ever seen in my life. Uh, I know that's the worst one Brent's ever seen, and Mike too, special thanks to him for helping. Probably the worst this one This is Mike, by the way. Well. Nice yes. to uh, be a part. If you guys enjoyed the video, we're almost at 200 subscribers. Hit that subscribe button, leave a thumbs up, um, and we will see you next Friday. Be on the lookout. Peace. Oh, the double hand. <laughs>